the only way your wives can be more more prepared. Let me tell you about the things that I picked up. Let my wife do a little bit more around the house, automate a little bit more, just integrate the better with our home. Check this out. What's up everybody? Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adam and in this week's video it's all about the Wise Cam. So if you didn't see the previous video where I initially bought the Wise Cam, unboxed it and set it up, the link for that is right here. And I was super excited about that Wise Cam. The picture was good, the um, you know the motion detection was good, the outlining of the person when it found one moving around was a great feature that I really liked. Um, but when I tried to set it up and integrate it better into my smart home, I was a little disappointed in some areas of it. Um, but some areas of it I was completely satisfied with. The area that I really did like, which I will show you how I set that up, was the motion detection. Um, but just like my Samsung motion sensors that I've got in my kitchen and I've got one in my hallway, um, if you guys didn't see that video, I will post a link to that one right here. But anyway, just like my motion sensors, I can go straight into my Echo app and create a routine so that if the Wise Cam detects a person or detects a person in motion uh, at certain times from midnight to, I think, 6 a.m., um, it will turn on my living room light for me to 5% so I can get up and I can walk through and it lights up so that I can see what I'm doing and not trip or walk into things. Um, the part of the setup that disappointed me was the push notifications. So I initially set it up through the WiseCam app so that if it detects motion, it would send me a push notification letting me know that there's something going on in my house. What I quickly found out was that it sends me a notification for everything. Watching TV, if a scene changes on the TV or there's a person on the TV on whatever I'm watching and that person moves to the other side of the TV screen, WiseCam thinks that's a person in the house and it sends me a notification. So I was getting notifications constantly. So I eventually disabled it. Um, I took it a step further after that because I didn't want to disable it. I wanted the notifications, but I didn't want them all the time, obviously, for obvious reasons. So I created uh, rules within the WiseCam app, and I'll show you how I did that. But through those rules, I can make a shortcut on the WiseCam app uh, home screen to either enable notifications or disable notifications so that when I'm leaving the house I can open the app and hit that shortcut rule on the home screen of the app to enable notifications and then do it again to disable notifications but after a while that became uh, I mean I don't want to say cumbersome but it was annoying having to pull the phone out open up the app and do that every time I was leaving the house or coming home from the house this is where the app called IFTTT comes in. And IFTTT stands for if this, then that. So through that app, I was able to create an applet using my August Smart Lock, which I've done two videos on now so far. And I will post one right here. And watching that one, there's a link that takes you to my original setup of the August Smart Home, or I'm sorry, August Smart Lock. Anyway, through the IFTTT app, I created an applet or uh, a routine applet, I believe is just another term for routine in the IFTTT app. But at any rate, I created an applet so that when my August Smart Lock locks, it enables notifications through the WiseCam app so that when the camera detects motion or person, it will send the notifications to my phone. So I leave, I lock my front door, it automatically enables push notifications from the WiseCam app to let me know when something's moving at my house. I created another applet or routine in the IFTTT app so that when the door is unlocked by me, it disables push notifications. And I will show you that app and the applets or routines that I set up um, here in a minute in this video. The good thing about IFTTT is that it's completely free to try out and you can make multiple applets or routines without having to um, 
subscribe to the IFTTT app service, um, but you only get so many and then they want you to upgrade and you've got to go to Pro. I don't know how many it is that you can make, it might be uh, five, three or five, something like that. Enough so that you can, um, you know, set a few of them up and try it out. And if you like it, you can upgrade. If you don't like it, you don't have to upgrade, but you still have those initial three to five uh, applets that you've created and they still do work. So anyway, we will cut down to the phone and I will show you um, the Wise Camera app, the rules I created in that app along with the shortcuts and what they do and how I created my echo routine so that uh, it turns on my living room light for me in the middle of the night when I get up to use the bathroom or get a drink of water from the kitchen. And then I'll show you the IFTTT app and the applets that I've created in there so that it automatically enables or disables push notifications whenever I lock or I unlock the front door. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like the content and you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment down below, you have a question, um, constructive criticism, or you just want to say hello, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you all in those comments. Um, also, if you guys are interested in picking any of the stuff up that I mentioned in this video, the, uh, the Wise app or the August Smart Lock, um, or you like the way the video looks and you're interested in the gear that I'm using, whether it's my Nikon Z6, my monitor on the Nikon, uh, my studio lights here or the accent behind me, or even a Echo device, um, links for everything will be down below. So to set the Wise Cam up so that it does what you want it to do, the motion sensor part is the easiest since that will work directly with the Echo routines, so we'll do that first. Open up your Echo app. There's your routines. We want to create a new routine specifically for the Wise Cam motion sensor part of it. And the one I want to create is that it will turn on a light for me in the evenings, in the late evenings when I get up to use the restroom or get to the kitchen. So I'll call that living room night light. Save the routine name as that. When this happens, this is where we select the trigger and we want the living room cam to detect a person save anytime since it's just going to be late evenings middle of the nights so I'm going to make it 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. and then suppress for set time that uh, the echo device will wait before running the routine again I don't want any kind of delay if I get up again a minute later I still want that light to turn back on so I'm going to leave that blank so there will be no delay Next, so we've got the name, we've got the trigger, the times, now we need the action. And that will be to turn on a light in my living room. Go to Smart Home, Lights, and I want it to be Couch Lamp 1. Next, Power, I want it to turn on. I want the brightness to just glow so that I can see what I'm doing without being overwhelmed by sudden light. So we'll take it down to 5% and set color. We'll make it a nice soft white so that it's not overpoweringly white and blinding you even though it's still going to be dim. Save. So we've got the power on, the brightness 5%, the color to soft white. Next, everything's set up. Name, trigger, time, and action. And save. Routine is created successfully. So that's how we can set the motion sensor part of it to turn on lights for us. You can also do something similar like what I did with my motion sensors for the daytime when I'm gone where it will um, send a message to your phone that the motion has been detected or a person has been detected. You cannot set up a turn off the lights if no motion is detected. So what I did to get around that, my hallway nighttime energy saver, I added the couch lamp to that routine. So. The hallway nighttime energy saver, hallway motion sensor detects no motion for one minute from midnight to 6.40 a.m. It'll turn off my hallway lights as well as my couch lamp. So that is how you set up the motion sensor part to turn on lights when your Wise Cam detects a person 
getting up, uh, moving around in the middle of the night. So say you want to take your wise cam a step further and use it as uh, similar to how the motion sensors will send you alerts uh, based on current times or current times that you set. But unfortunately, if I'm home, say I got off work early or I'm going into work late, and I'm in that time zone, I don't want WiseCam push notifications coming to my phone when I know that I am home. It's just, it's very annoying. And when I first tried to do it, I tried to set up uh, regular times, say uh, from 7 o'clock in the morning till 11.30 in the morning, send notifications if somebody's detected in my house, because normally I'm at work during that time. But there are times where I'll go to lunch early or I'll go into work late, which is very rare. But... I'll go to lunch early or I'll take a very late lunch and I've got it set or I had it set so from 1 o'clock in the afternoon until 4 o'clock in the afternoon so there shouldn't be anybody at the house It will send me notifications. But if I take a late lunch and I'm here until 1.30 in the afternoon on my lunch break and it starts sending me notifications from 1 to 1.30 every time it sees me move on the camera extremely annoying and there is a way to just simply enable and disable those so we go to the wise app and i created rules so we'll go here home now the rules that i've made we'll go to edit rules disable notifications or enable notifications and then i've got the schedule set up like i had mentioned earlier However, if I'm not following the regular schedule, it will send me notifications left and right and left and right. So I made these shortcuts and put them on the home screen. But if you want to take it a step simpler than that, so you don't got to open up the app and either disable notifications or enable notifications, the easiest way to do that is through IFTT. So the IFTT app, I'm sorry, IFTTT app for if this, then that. You can create applets, and here are some of the applets I've created. Now, you can create these so that it works with an echo trigger phrase, but from what I've read, you actually have to say echo device trigger phrase leaving, or I'm leaving, before it will work with IFTTT. So I added a little bit more convenience for myself, being as I have the August Smart Lock, what it does is if the front door gets locked, then it automatically enables WiseCam app push notifications. And how that was set up, there's the title of it. So if the front door is locked, it triggers to uh, enable the WiseCam app to send me notifications every time it detects a person in the house. And then if the WiseCam app or I'm sorry, if the uh, August Smart Lock gets unlocked by myself only, it disables WiseCam app push notifications. So you can start to disable the app push notifications, which lock the front door if it's unlocked by me. Now, if somebody else unlocks the front door, say I don't know that they're coming into my house or whatever, if anybody else unlocks that front door, it does not disable the notification. So I still get notifications if there's motion detected in my house and the front door has been unlocked. Now what this also means is if I have guests like I had mentioned in my initial August smart lock video, if I have guests and I let them in through my app, IFTTT knows that it was still me using my August smart home app to unlock the door. So if I unlock the door for my family that's visiting from out of town and I'm still at work, as long as I use the app on my phone and I'm the one doing it, August knows that I unlocked the door, which lets IFTTT know that I unlocked the door so it does disable the push notifications. And then I've also got it set up if just because I'm one of those people that is this working? Is this IFTTT applet working like I set it up to do? It will send me notifications, letting me know that the applet has run. See here you can see applet ran, disable WiseCam app push notifications because Adam Holt just unlocked the front door at home. That way I know when the applet enables or disables, and it gives me a little peace of mind knowing that I will be notified 
or I won't be notified, whichever the case may be, that there's motion at the house. So that is one way to bring everything working together better through your Echo routines, the WiseCam app, and the IFTTT app. So through those apps that I just showed you and through the routines and the applets and the rules that I showed you in those apps, I was able to take my wise cam kind of to the next level so that it's not just a security camera. It's also now a part of my smart home. It triggers lights for me when I want it to. It uh, notifies me when it detects motion and there shouldn't be any notification. And then it also shuts off notifications so that I'm not notified when there's motion at the home when there's supposed to be motion at the home. What did you guys think of all that? Um, you know, did it show you a few new ideas that maybe you didn't think of, or maybe you were wanting to uh, figure out how to integrate the WiseCam more into your smart home environment and weren't really sure how? And did this video help you figure out how or, uh, you know, open up new ideas? Like I said earlier, uh, you know, if you got any comments, um, you know, any questions or you got any ideas on what I could do further that might that I might not have thought of, leave me a comment down below and I would greatly appreciate hearing from you guys and I will get back to you. If you like the video, hit that like button for me. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button for me. And if you like anything that I've mentioned or went over or what I'm using, links for everything will be down below. Thanks guys, I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.